Welcome to Talk. The only show on the web where every team, good or bad, big or small, rigged or not rigged, has a voice. And gets to sit down exclusively with me. Everybody, opinion matters. Except for Patriots fans. So, I think the Raiders, truthfully, bold prediction, are going to win the freaking Super Bowl. I don't think there's anything holding up. Welcome to the show where the only thing that matters is you. Welcome to Talk Time. I'd like to take this opportunity tonight to send out my heartfelt condolences to all the Patriots fans out there, the so-called fans, uh, as their season lays in ashes tonight. Welcome back. Another episode of Talk Time. Patriots just lost. Time to do the Jets Bills preview for my man in week one. Here we go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to week one. This is the kickoff week, and I am here with a special episode of Talk Time. And we're going to hear, I'm here with my man Ian again, and we're going to preview the Jets Bills week one battle. Ian, we just saw the New England Patriots get knocked off their almighty throne by the Kansas City Chiefs tonight. The Patriots are now at a negative 0-1 record, leaving, especially since the Dolphins will not be playing this weekend due to a hurricane, uh, Irma, you know, protect all their fans, protect the Dolphins also. But this means the Jets and Bills this Sunday will play for first place in the AFC East. How does that impact the game, and how can the Jets pull this off? All right, what are three keys, three keys to winning this game for New York Jets? And final score prediction, I guess. Uh, I got, I got 28 to 17 Jets. All right, what are your three keys to victory? Perfect, perfect. And one more. Uh, I think uh, having, having Curtis and Curly back is going to make a big impact. Yeah. So we need to get them more involved. Awesome keys, awesome keys. The receivers, McCown, and the defense. I'm going to go along the exact same lines. The defense has got to get after Tyrod in this game. We know the Bills are at home. We know the crowd. If the crowd gets into it, it's going to be even tougher. We need to get after Tyrod. He's not himself completely. Him or Jordan Matthews are both, you know, battling injuries right now, but they're playing them anyway. We need to make them regret playing them. We need to do that. We need to get after them, be in their face, and show them why we, our defense, should be top five yet again. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care who we've lost. Top five defense. We need to get the run game established early. That's my second key. We saw last year what can happen no matter how good or how bad we are. We can win ball games if Forte and Powell can get the rock pounded, get first down after first down, and then get the receivers involved in the short passing game or whatever we need to do. Um, McCown needs to play a safe game. And with those three keys, McCown playing smart, the run game, and the defense getting after this mobile quarterback, the Jets surely will walk out of Orchard Park 1-0 and on top of the AFC East. How would that feel, Ian? That feels great. That's yeah, gonna be awesome. We're gonna at least, uh, je- at least as Jet fans, we're gonna be able to celebrate at least one week of being on the top. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Go Jets this Sunday, one o'clock p.m. Eastern time at Buffalo. Patriots lost yet again. We're gonna say it. 
Uh, anyway, go Jets. J E T S. Jets. 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 You heard it first from Harley.